What's up? We got The Legend of Tomorrow, Season 2, Episode 8, The Chicago Way. So this episode starts off, this episode starts off, so this episode starts off with, with Al Capone being like, with, 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 with Al Capone being like, let's go guys, but then, but then, but then, but then, but then Reverse Flash is like, yo, and he's like, am I supposed to be afraid of you guys? And basically takes out, and basically takes out all of Capone's men. And basically, like, come on, we have, a th and he's like, we have a third member, Malcolm Merlin. I'm so why would Malcolm Merlin team up with these guys? I guess he's meant to be the villain of his of the first season, but so yeah, so he's like, we can help you. So, yeah. So, yeah. So then, so then what happens is, is that we, is that we see Sarah and the gang and they're talking about how they're going to stop, how they're going to stop Merlin and the speedster, how they're going to stop Dark and speedster. So, yeah, so they go, so they go to Al. And I see that the time aberration is that Al Capone is going to send is going and without the guy that they're so yeah so they try to get the guy, but then the guy goes along with two agents so the and they're like oh no, th those are the two agents that work for Al Capone so like, and I'm like, come on Ray so yeah. Uh, yeah, so they, so they capture, they capture Stein. So yeah, so they capture Stein and basically, so yeah, so Sarah, so Sarah and Martin get captured by, get captured by Damien Dark and, and get captured by the Reverse Flash. And he's like, and Sarah learns that Damien, that Malcolm Merlin, she's like, it was surprised. I'm surprised you and Damien Dark are on the line. And he's like, "Hey, Sarah, I can make it so you never. I can make it so what happened to you five years ago never happened. I can make it so you never went on the Queen's Gambit. You and Laurel never. You would never died. You never joined the League of Assassins, and and you never and you never died. Fake died." And she's like, yeah, right, I'm going to take that deal. And he's like, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right, I'm never going to, yeah, right, you're never, yeah, right, I'm never going to take that deal from you. So, yeah, so then Star notices that Martin is acting very weird. He's like, Martin, you've been acting very weird ever since we got back. And he's like, oh, uh, yes, yeah, Sarah, but... When he interacted with his younger self, he told them to, he, when he interacted with his younger self, he basically told them not to mind, not to ignore Clarissa, and that basically caused him to see a child, and Sarah's basically like, you create a time aberration, and she's like, she's not an aberration, she's his daughter, and he has met, and he, every time a day passes, he gets memories of her and her life that he has never experienced. About how about how he she wanted to sing the power table and said I'll go bad and she's and he's like but yeah but those aren't your memories yeah but they feel real and he's like Stein you know what you you know we can't change the timeline and he's like yeah but then Stein gets at Stein gets attacked. Need my pillow. Stein gets attacked, and then Stein gets attacked, and they're like, "Is like, hey Stein," and he's like, "Have Stein for some reason doesn't remember your but song for some reason." <laughs> and he's like, "Have we met before?" And he's like, and "He's like, yeah, nah." But and he starts injuring him. 
I'm surprised Jax isn't in pain because of this. I like sometimes they show times where Martin gets injured and Jax gets injured as well. But Martin's getting tortured, but Jax doesn't feel a thing. I don't understand that at all. What is up with that? Like, why doesn't he, you know, like, feel pain at all? So, yeah, so... I didn't feel pain at all. So, they decided to... See, they get Martin back on the ship, and Martin starts acting weird. And he's like, hey, I'll tell... J I'll tell... I'll tell Jax what's up. And Sarah's like, uh, when you start... When did you start calling him Jax? And then he reveals himself to be a Barthon. He phases to reveal himself to be a Barthon. Because. Yeah. And that's when Merlin and the Capone gang go. Mer Merlin. Merlin and Sarah fight. Merlin. Yeah. Merlin and Sarah fight. Which is really cool. Because that's. It's a really cool fight. Because he kind of, he kind of did bring her back to life. He's the reason why she's back to life. But it's cool to have a fight. Because, you know, obviously, we need a cool Merlin versus Sarah fight. And, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then the, so yeah. So the real Martin's about to be pushed into the ocean when, he, when the, when he saved and he's, when he saved and, yeah. And he's like, and he's like, and Sarah was, was forced to give them the same Martin's life. Sarah gave them the comp, the, the, the compass thingy. And, and he's like, and he's like, what is this? And he's like, have you guys heard the spirit of destiny? And he's like, the spirit of destiny ha happened. Something like Christ or something. And he's, and he's like, how do you know? And he's like, have you ever heard of Rip Hunter? So then we see Rip, but it's not really Rip. It's a stage actor. And we see the real Rip with an American accent. Huh? Rip's got an American accent. He no longer has this British one. The actor decided he'll try an American accent. So that was the episode. Yeah, so, um, also, Mick is seeing Snart now. Mark, Mick is seeing Snart now. And Amaya is, is like, you're not a bad guy. And he's like, you're, you're, out, you're out of your head, Mick. And I'm here to set you straight. I love his voice. Warren Miller's Mick sign. Mark, Snart voice is really good. So we don't know if this is like Ghost of Snart. Is it hallucination? Is it a hallucination of Snart? We have no idea. We have no idea. But yeah. That's it for this video. And I'll see you next time for more Legend of Tomorrow. Bam, wee, wee, wee.